Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be ranking all race V4s in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. And while you're at it, you might as well like the video too. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so there are six races which can be awakened to version 4. Now number 6 on the list. It's the former best race. It's Mink. Mink V4 sucks when compared to all the other V4s. Yes, all V4s still give max stats on everything, but since all of them give that, we're just looking at their individual powers. So Mink V4, you're basically just fast. The speed makes tornadoes behind you when you dash, which can damage, partially stun, and overall just annoy the opponent. It's good for running or catching runners. This is really good if you want to dodge around all the opponent's attacks catch up to them really fast or something. Number 5 on my list is Ghoul version 4. Ghoul gives slowing and blindness to the opponent if they're in your field which is around you. It's a pretty small field, it probably goes like all around here, fills in this square on the floor right there. It's kind of hard to stay close to people because it's such a small field and also it's not very vertical at all and there's many mobility options in the game now the ravens that attack people when you dash are pretty good dash around them and it will damage them getting rid of some of their observation dodges but it can be dodged with observation so it's kind of mediocre it's just free slightly more damage i guess ghoul's good for the more aggressive type of pvpers coming in at number four on our list is Cyborg V4. It gives you an observation break, which is really useful, but it already had that in the version 3 ability, so I don't see much of a point there. But I guess it's constant while you transform, so it's not bad there. The super jump type ability that lets you run or catch your prey very easily. You know I mean very easily, it's like, it's a very good mobility move if you don't have any other options like CDK, or e claw or something like that. The damage linking is very good if you are getting teamed on, so it's best if you like to solo multiple people at once. That's mainly what Cyborg is used for. Coming in at number 3 is Skypian V4, also known as Angel. The flight ability to control the battlefield and catch Sky Campers is pretty useful, and you can also attack while flying. I really like the flying in Angel V4 or whatever it's called. It has a small aura around the player that stuns people and deals pretty good damage which can be used to break observation and as I mentioned earlier stun the opponent. And the healing from the V3 ability makes for a well-rounded build for PvP. Coming in at second place is Fishman V4. The fish armor makes the opponent do zero damage to you until it's all gone and it's a significant percentage that it can take up of your HP, which is really amazing. The slowness on the opponent, which makes it very hard for them to get away, and the slowness lets you deal more damage to the opponent. And with the V3 ability, you can basically survive forever. If you pair it with something like Leopard or Dragon and the Dragon form, you're basically invincible. It's really just an amazing race. And number one on my list, as you can guess, is Human V4. It's got insane damage. With the damage counter, the more damage you deal, the more damage you do with your next attacks. The crazy mobility with three separate sorrows, and they're really long. How they make you invisible for a second after the sorrow, and give you a speed boost, that's just amazing. It's got great mobility, and the V3 making you deal extra damage depending on how low your health is. It just makes it the first place on my list. It's super versatile, super easy to move around, super easy to kill people. Like you can kill people in 2 or 3 attacks, that's how good it is. Who needs defense when you can end the fight in under 5 seconds? If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. 
thanks for watching and see you all next time.